Hi guys, uh, today I came up with the simple topic that is basic permissions in Linux. Okay, so uh, here um, basic permissions we can um, discuss like with these three commands chmod and chown and chgrp like changing the mod I mean change mod uh, that is the command and change ownership and uh, changing the group of the file right file or directory in the Linux. So how to do it and all like we'll discuss so uh, before going to the commands actually these three uh, that you need to keep in mind so these three commands are very basic uh, permissions uh, commands in linux there are many other permissions um, like special permissions um, i will discuss in later uh, videos okay so uh, here there are three permissions basically read write and execute uh, which r means read uh, w means write and then x means execute in the binary mode r means for and uh, write uh, w write means two and then x execute means one okay so what is meant by read um, read mean you can read the data in a file right uh, just to read the data and uh, if you have write permission you can modify the data in a file and you can even uh, modify the like renaming the file name and all that we can perform like write operations on a file or directory and uh, the execute permission which means uh, for example you are writing a shell script or you are writing a python script right so any script or anything uh, any file that you wanted to execute for example the commands which you're gonna run so for example chmod itself is a command so um, you should have execute permission for this command uh, you, then only you should be able to run right so whenever you have the execute permission then only you should be able to run the commands otherwise you cannot run okay so um, here you, you also need to keep it in mind plus means adding the permissions and minus means removing the permissions and equal to means assigning the permissions whichever you want okay so here um, and one more like a user user means owner of the file that we can um, like uh, just uh, show it, show it with, with the u okay and then uh, group it means user group we can show uh, with g okay and others all users in the linux system that is wo okay and when we can call a it means all user group and others right user means owner of the file and uh, g means group of the file and uh, others means all the users in the system actually all users in a system so there are 100 users uh, what are the permissions that you apply for others so it will applicable for all the users present in the system okay and uh, a means all actually you can keep uh, a also like uh, user group and others for everyone you can if you want to provide same permissions we can use a so uh, there are two methods actually um, uh, using these two methods like simple method and then binary method we can provide permissions one is simple method another one is binary method Let's talk about simple method first. Okay, simple thing like chmod. The command is here chmod. We can provide uh, permissions and then uh, the file or directory you can mention. Okay, so let's write a. Uh, I mean, let's go to practical stuff so that you will understand better. Okay, so ls hyphen l to see the long list, right? So for example, for a uh, kernel dot is a file here. So here you can see read write permission for the owner and only read permission for the group and then only read permission for others right so this is the one of the file and this is the group of the file the user itself will be a group here right so for example i want to provide uh, execute permission for the owner and uh, write permission for the group and uh, uh, and also write permission for others okay so how to provide chmod so u means user if you want to add the permission we need to use plus right so uh, we need to add execute permission for the user comma and for the group i want to add the write permission and for others i want to add the write permission even you can use go plus w also you can give it instead of giving this go plus w it means for group and others it will provide write permission okay so uh, here i am giving the file name that is kernel.txt okay so this is the file now if you observe the uh, file here you can see this is the file right so read write execute permission we added and write permission for the group and write permission for others also it is added so this is how you can just add the new permissions uh, for for the file 
okay without disturbing like uh, uh, any permissions for example i wanted to remove uh, the right permission for the others right permission for group also how to remove it right so chmod for group i wanted to remove my, remove means minus right so and then the permission is w and then for others also i wanted to give o minus w it means right permission removing right so go minus w also you can give that is also possible okay so uh, kernel.txt the file name i'm giving it here and let's observe uh, you can see the right permission got removed right so this is how you can add the permissions you can remove the permissions for any file or even for directory okay and now i wanted to uh, actually assign the permissions okay so for example chmod uh, for user i want to assign read and write permissions for group i want to assign read uh, read permission okay and uh, for others i want to assign a read permission again you can give combination of go equal to r also you can give that is also possible because same permission we are we, we are giving it here right so we, we can give the file name here just give enter you can see for this read write permission we were able to add it means uh, u equal to rw g equal to r o equal to r okay even like chmod u g o equal to r w x it means for user r w x permissions for group r w x permissions for others also r w x permissions this is also one way of giving the uh, permissions right you can see all the permissions applied here so this is how you can equal to means it is assigning it will not add or remove i mean uh, it will remove if there are any existing permissions or else it will add it so plus means only adding the permission uh, minus means removing the permission right so you clear with it so uh, plus means adding minus means remove and then equal to means assigning the permissions u g o u means user and g means group uh, a uh, o means others even you can give a also for example ch mod a equal to r w or else r x okay a equal to r x means read and execute permission okay so and then the file name okay so just give file name here okay so just give ll you can see rx 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 right so here you need to know one thing see guys um, if you want to have write permission you definitely should have read permission without read permission we cannot write the data right so uh, if you are if you want to write permission definitely you should have read permission even if you want to execute the execute permission if you want definitely you should have read permission on that file okay so um, if you want to like just read permission required if you want to uh, i mean if you want to provide write permission or execute permission by default read permission required so rx is possible rw is possible okay rw is is also possible without write permission we can also execute the command without write permission we can also execute the command these are the uh, uh, few rules that you need to keep it in mind okay so uh, that is how you can add the permissions you can remove the permissions you can assign the permissions okay you see in even a equal to right so this is also one way of doing it now i'll tell you like what is, what is binary mode binary mode it's very easy one so uh, for example ch mode you can give uh, same method like permissions here and then file or directory so in this method you no need to keep these two things in your mind okay you just need read for four write for two and then execute uh, uh, execute means one okay so for example i want to provide all permissions for the owner okay owner means it's a u right so uh, u equal u it means uh, we, we are giving ch mod first one is u g o and then the file or directory we can keep it right so here ch mod for user i want all the permissions okay so for user i want all the permissions how to provide all the permissions here right so uh, 4 2 1 it means what 4 2 1 4 2 1 means 4 plus 2 plus 1 it is 7 right so we can give 7 here and then i want to give read and execute permission for group right next one is g right group right so 4 plus 1 that is 5 and then even for others i want to give only read permission for example for others i want to give read permission not execute permission just for which means for owner it will be all permissions for group it will be only read and execute permission for others 
it will be only read permission and then we can give file our directory right so let's try this uh, let's try on the same file okay so chmod uh, here i'm giving 754 uh, all permissions for the owner read and execute permission for the group and only read permission for others okay so kernel um, dot txt so if you give it just give ll you can see here all the permissions for the owner and read and execute permission for the group and only read permission for others okay this is how you can provide for example i want to provide only read permission for the owner for others i don't want to provide any any permissions right so uh, these things like uh, real time use case because we will be providing for pem key or any keys that you copy right so we should be uh, giving uh, only read permission for the owner how to give it so chmod only read permission for the owner it means for for others for group we don't know we don't want to give any permissions it means zero zero that's it for group and others and that is the i can give the file name here so uh, if you see now you can see only read permission for the owner and for others for group and all we we won't be able to see the permissions right so this is how you can provide the permissions using binary method okay so um yeah next one uh, we need to discuss the ch1 command it means changing the ownership of the file okay so changing the owner owner of the file ch1 and then we can give the uh, username here and then the file art directory that you wanted to provide okay so for example um, so here the root is there that is the username right i wanted to change it to sai for example okay ch one and then i want to uh, change it to sai for file kernel.txt right so this is the file just give enter you can see now the ownership of the file got changed right you can see sai this is also got changed because this is the link file which I created earlier. Um, that is a hard link. That is the reason it is also got changed. Okay. So you can see it got changed, right? So if you want to change the group of the uh, a group of the file, you can use chgrp and then username uh, file or directory you can provide. Okay. So here chgrp, you can provide the uh, uh, group name. I am itself a uh, primary group. Right, I am only the group group of the file and the one of the file. For example, even if you have secondary group, you can provide secondary group. Okay, so kernel.txt here and give enter. You can see the group also got changed. Even for the link file, hard link file, the this file also got changed. Right, so this is how you can change the group of the file. For example, um, ID space Narasimha user. Yeah, Narasimha user is present. So now. I want to change the ownership and group group and I mean ownership of the file and then group of the file uh, to some other user at a time right so without using chgrp command we can do it with the ch1 command itself okay so ch1 and then I am giving the username that is Narasimha user colon and then the group name we can give the group name here itself and then the file name that is kernel.txt so just give enter you can see the owner of the file and then group of the file at a time we should be able to change uh, we are able to change right so this is how you can change the owner and group of the file at a time okay so and next thing um, so here for example we are providing only for file every time right so if you want to provide uh, for the directory and inside directory there will be many files right so if you see here, there will be many files inside directory, right? So in that case, how you provide the permissions? If you want to apply same permissions, if you want to change the ownership, if you want to change the group, how you change it? Okay, there is a capital R that is that means recursive. That means recursive. Option capital R means recursive. Okay, so using recursive, we can we can change it. For example, uh, you you are installing a, a, a something in the system inside slash opt so how you provide all the um, permissions there so i'll show you a simple thing for example i'll i'll say like uh, tomcat i download tomcat uh, apache tomcat i'll download okay and then uh, i'll actually provide permissions so the tar.gg i'm taking it here copy link address and here i'm downloading 
uh, cd slash opt inside opt i am i am doing it okay so here i am uh, c url cal command option capital o or wget command anything you can use it okay wget command if you are using there should be some other options we might need to provide that's the reason i'm just giving c url option capital o and then the link of the in, link of the file from the internet so this is got, this got downloaded okay and uh, this one actually we need to extract it tab dot gz how to extract i i have another video which is already there you can watch that uh, in my tutorial so here you need to extract it how to extract it tar iphone xvzf and then the the file name of the gif gif file name okay just give enter so we are able to unzip it so this is the directory here and if you see here this is the root root again right for example i want to create the user uh, tomcat okay and uh, uh, i want to change the ownership of this file and the permissions of this file okay so if you see here these are the permissions and if you go to inside apache directory and uh, if you see here all the permissions are different different right so i want to provide uh, 700 permissions it means for owner i want to provide all the permissions for group i want i don't want to provide any permissions for others also i don't want to provide any permissions okay so in this case what you need to do so ch mode option capital or it means records you uh, records you and then 700 it means all permissions for the owner and uh, for group and others no permissions and then the directory that is apache right so if you give this what are all the directories present in this what are all the files present in this for every directory uh, inside uh, uh, all the files it will provide 700 it means only read write execute for the owner not for others or group or others okay just give enter it's verify now okay so give ll you can see 700 permission supply okay so let's go to this directory and you can see 700 permission supply right so even if you go to this directory for example cd bin okay just give ll you can see 700 permission supply so this is how you can change for all the uh, directories at a time using option capital that is recursive okay even if you want to change the ownership here it is also root is the owner and root is the group and if you go to inside apache here also you can see the root and then here also you can see the root right so i don't want it i i have already created a user that is tomcat right so i wanted to change the ownership ch1 uh, tomcat is a username colon tomcat so what i am trying to say here uh, so uh, tomcat directory right so here what i am trying to say so tomcat colon tomcat means user and group of the file i am i am changing recursively it means for all the files for all the directories inside this this directory right so just give enter now give ll you can see like tomcat is the owner and tomcat is the group and if you see inside apache tomcat i can see tomcat is the owner and tomcat is the group right so there is how like even if you go to sub directories also a number of sub directories even if there is any directory inside this even if you go to that directory also you can see for all the files it, it will be applied right so this is how you can change the uh, like uh, the owner and group of the file recursively okay so this is all about like uh, basic uh, permissions in linux uh, with the ch mode command ch mode and then ch grp very useful in the real time even this is basic but very useful so thanks for watching uh, my video and uh, uh, share like and then comment if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye bye